just how far will $300,000 go in today's market in Ocean City, New Jersey? In this video, I'm going to show you and walk you through not just what's on the market currently as of the recording of this video, but also in general, what you can expect to be able to purchase for less than $300,000 in the beautiful beach town that we call OCNJ. If you don't already know, my name is Nick Deckard. I'm a local realtor here in Ocean City. Now let's skip the usual intro and dive right into it and take a look at some properties. Now, as you can see here, there's only nine total results, but take a look at the map of the island. And I'm going to point a couple things out to you. If you're familiar with the island, you'll know what I'm talking about in terms of north end and south end. But if you're not, let's take it in baby steps here. So if we zoom back out, the north end over here, there's really not a whole lot going on in the far north end and in the gardens, which is not a surprise because that area is full of large lots, big homes, and really very few condos of any kind. Now, the same goes for the south end. So this right here is the 34th Street Bridge. Anything south of that usually is either going to be your normal single family home or your traditional three or four or five bedroom duplex. When we're talking about 300,000 or less, we're really gonna be hyper-focused on anything between an efficiency unit up to maybe two bedrooms at the current moment. So let's start with the first option here we have at the Biscayne. And the Biscayne, if you're not familiar, is right on 8th and Ocean Avenue. I'm gonna zoom in quite a bit here so you can get a sense for where this is on the island. Now, these units are, again, the very first of the condo tells that we're gonna talk about. And a lot of these units are going to be mostly geared towards investments. These tend to have on-site rental management programs that will handle just about everything for you. So this really is an entry-level property for a lot of people. As they get further in their careers and build up more wealth, this is a great way to start building equity and be able to take that leapfrog or that stepping stone approach to owning properties here in Ocean City. Now, the Biscayne in general, the condo fees are pretty reasonable. They cover just about everything outside of the electric bill. Um, so it really is a comprehensive, all-inclusive type of property. Now, obviously, you see here, we have a boat slip listed at 25000 so we can ignore that. But the second one that we have here, right on 8th Street as well, 124000 is at the Hanscom. Now, the Hanscom is super interesting because it's a cash-only property. There are mostly Airbnb businesses run out of this building, which is a converted apartment building, and they tend to generate a good amount of cash. Now, this 124000 is a hair higher than normal. Um, you're usually looking at just about $100,000 to purchase an efficiency unit there, which this is, but it is a different option, right? It's in a totally unique location compared to other condo complexes. And again, the fact that this is less than 150000 is hard to come by. Now, the next one we have here is extremely unique, and I'm going to click into this one at 1500 West Avenue. So if the idea of owning in a condo of any kind, let alone a condo tell, is just not for you, you treasure your space, you want to have some privacy, this is an interesting unit. <clears throat> and there aren't many of these, just to be completely blunt with you. This is kind of a traditional cottage that you think of, old time Ocean City, where it is totally separate. Um, there are no bedrooms in here because it is an efficiency cottage. This is just a one-shot deal where you have your own little piece of paradise and nobody can tell you what to do or when to do it. So this is a very unique option. Again, it is not very large. It is tight, but it is compared to everything else, extremely unique. So I did want to show you this one because you may never see one like this again. Now, after that, we have two different units here, and they're not going to be in order, but I'm going to cover them both at the same time because they're in the same complex, which is called Sifting Sands. Now, Sifting Sands is right on the corner of 9th Street and Ocean Avenue, even though the address is technically 840 Ocean Avenue. And this is the tried and true condo tell that most people think of when they hear that term. Now, this particular unit, again, is an efficiency. This is an income generator. And it really is an interesting option because it does have a pool, unlike the Hanscom, uh, the Biscayne does have a pool as well. But you start to see some differences in amenities. So when you're looking under 300,000, you may think you're not going to have a lot of a selection. The selection becomes more about amenities that you want and the location that you prefer more than anything else. All of them are going to generate income. Most of them have Again, that on-site rental management program that makes things very easy to handle. Um, but the downside with these condo tells is that they all have to abide by a city regulation that requires that 
owners cannot use the property for more than 30 days per calendar quarter. Now that calendar quarter, one of those covers the bulk of the summer. So if you planned on using one of these units for yourself for the entirety of the summer, that simply isn't an option. So that does limit your use. And that is one reason why some people shy away from condo tells on the whole. Now, outside of Sifting Sands, we do have two units in the Ocean 7 complex. Now, Ocean 7 is what we have right over here, just off the boardwalk on 7th Street, close to the rides, close to a lot of things going on there. Um, one of these, this is a one bed, one bath. If I scroll down a little bit further, we also have an efficiency unit. And I did do a video specifically on this efficiency unit. And the link will be right up here for you uh, to check out as well as down below in the description, because the income generation on that far surpasses any of the other options that we're looking at today. So if I were an investor, and I were looking for somewhere to bankably get a solid return, that would be where I would start. So Ocean 7 is again, incredibly unique because of not only the location, but uh, the condition of the units tends to be superior to other options. Um, and the prices are often reflective of that, but so is the rental income. So again, there are very, very unique factors about all these, what the HOA fees are, what they cover. If you want a comprehensive look at that, there is a link down in the description to download my comprehensive condo guide, which will walk you through just about every complex on the island and give you a breakdown <clears throat> of amenities, of uh, what the HOA fee covers, and a description of each and every complex. Now, last but not least, we have the odd duck that is outside of the bulk of downtown. It is all the way over here, just off of the 34th Street Bridge. And this is in the Sea Spray Complex. Now, you might notice that this has two full bedrooms, so by far the largest of all of them. Now, this complex, and I will click into this, this complex is not the most appealing to look at from the outside. Um, the, the complex certainly could use a little bit of upkeep, some work, um, but that would come at a pretty steep price um, based on the material that the building is made out of. So this is a great option if you're looking simply for space, right? If you're not too particular on location, but you simply need more than one bedroom for your family, for your friends, whatever the case may be, this would be the only option out there on the market at the moment. Now, let's talk more about what the options might be, right? Because we're in a freeze frame right now with the nine, but really eight, if you don't count the boat slip, options for less than $300,000. So most of these options, as I mentioned, are going to be condo tells. And for more information on that, there is another link down in the description, as well as right here above, that will explain exactly what condo tells are in detail. But the gist of it is, you have a relatively hands-off investment, you have limited use of when you can actually use the property, and it is a nice way for you to get into Ocean City and get your piece of paradise and plant your flag before again, like I mentioned before, taking the stepping stone approach to ownership. Most people don't buy and hold one property one time. They will transition and upgrade every three to five years should their financial situation allow them to, or if their family size requires it, or simply their needs change. So condo tells are going to be the most common thing that you see under 300K. Now, outside of that, the occasional condo will pop up, and most likely you're not going to see anything over two bedrooms. And those two bedroom units are going to be rare for under 300,000, given what the market has done here over the past two years. So really, you're going to have to hold out some hope for that uh, if the condo tell option and that limited use is not for you. But outside of that, you're not going to find any single family homes. You are definitely not going to find any plots of land for less than $300,000. And that takes care of just about every property type that we have here. So I hope you found this helpful. Make sure if you have any questions, drop them right down in the comments. I'm happy to get to them ASAP, or you could reach out directly. All my contact info is in the description. Appreciate you hanging out with me and stick around for next week when I come out with the next episode in this series. What will you get for less than 400000 here in Ocean City? I'll see you on the next one.